Hello everyone, it's Visi23 here, and welcome to, once again, story! This story is not suggested by someone actually, but uh, I have shown my teachers this story, and most of my stories actually, and this is the most liked one. It's Fleshworm! A really brutal character, but she is good, I would say. It's two pages. Hmm. Well, let's get into it. Fleshworm, or as the people of Africa, African, of her African co home color, Bresse Monde, which means f fierce mouth was born like all of her kind from an egg but she was different from her f from her was different from her first day for one of the things from her first day for one of the things she saw within her first 5 minutes out of the egg was a mole that had dug into the den the her mother had dug. This was a big thing for her life. For within the first five minutes of the living of the living, things her kind sees are part of their family. Her brother her brothers and sisters didn't see any of other thing than their siblings and their mother. So they all became normally adapted to their lives. But Versimon didn't she, after that moment, always saw a mouse as part of her family, and she chased down the one she first saw. But instant, instead of like her siblings would have done, eat it, she treated it like a child. She had already taken the role of a mother without being one single day old. <clears throat> of course, her mother was concerned, but she let it be, for she thought it was or her child made but still after a week Versimond was caring for the mal not letting it out not letting it out of sight she kept it safe and actually after a few days understood and it all actually after a few days understood she wouldn't eat him they ate together played together but most don't have a short life, have short lives. While Vresemond had a long, had long life of many years to look forward to. Her mouth that she had named to something like a deep coughing, coughing, and then a small roar. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Something like that, I suppose. Had only a really short life of maybe three years, and for being a male, he was old. And that spring after Versimond's first winter, he died. They didn't just didn't get to see the summer together. She carried him around, but when she finally understood he wouldn't squeeze again, she dug down to stone. For now she was about three meters long, and had with, um, and had with, of about uh, half a meter, and had a width of at least of about half a meter, and she dug out a tomb for a friend. She carved it and put it him in it. Then she made a lid and put it him in it. After that she went to her den, buried her friend in it, the wall, and slept at her sleeping spot. A small hole in the wall. She put it in the air so she would always be able to protect him. After that she grew and grew, growing larger and stronger. But she always was sad. She went hunting, but only when she needed to. Otherwise, she stayed in there, in the den at her friend. 
She one day, though, woke up to find the tomb was gone. She got just in time to see one of her brothers eat it. She got really sad, but this time her sadness didn't stay. It turned into the strongest emotion that her nature gave her. Anger. She killed her brother and let blood, flesh and body plates of her kind make flies fly all over the walls of the den. But she didn't find the tomb. She only found a skull from a mouth in him. She took it and put it in her mouth. And she sucked it into her vocal cords and let it slide into a small hole there. It was a bag in her kind had a place for the children's if they it was needed. And after that she left the den, never to return. She went out and trained herself learning how to take the shape of a baby human, a great method of hunting. <clears throat> but she had, by putting the skull of her friends in her children's bag, this allowed her from ever getting a mate. She would never lay her own eggs. She had, though, a strange ability. She had other feelings of empathy, empathy or at least a feeling for other creatures. She allowed her to get closer to others than her kind. She had, had though to do it slowly. For a lot, for fast motions and high sounds from creatures, remember her brother's act. For he had twisted his head and swallowed to swallow the tomb, and let out a roar of victory after doing it. Her sight was also weak as all of a kind, but her other senses was better. Thus she could feed, feel the smell and hear the calm songs of me when I met. <clears throat> when we met. She then got a new life, slowly but surely. <clears throat> she learns, but sh though sh the scars may heal, the sorrow never leaves f Worm's story. Oh. The sorrow never leaves. Sorrow never leaves. Thanks for watching, and if you're wondering what the heck is this sound, it's that apparently I had been stupid, and there was two copies of this uh, story on the pages but <clears throat> that's all for me for now but I'm right away going to record W Wednesday but see ya